What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Captain Price, John Price, I think, John Price, full name, not sure, from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This is a Patreon request from Parsval on Patreon. Landscape page, pencil racer, hip pause, we'll go too fast. His head isn't bang in the middle of this one. We're slightly over to the left because, like, I think his body's turned away in this picture. So it's like his shoulders, like, larger on this side and kind of smaller over here. So. We will do our best. So, start with his eyes. So we'll go, yeah, we'll go diagonal first. Okay, diagonal line, starting with these semi-realistic human eyes. Then, top eyelid line, right? He's got these sort of very big eyelids. So this will go. Like down here. Right, and then we have eyelashes down here. So it goes, this eyelid line comes across and then the eyelashes kind of come out this side, right? So a few eyelashes there. And you can darken up this line a little bit in the corners. There's like some eyelashes here as well. Okay, you have a tear duct at the front, and then this comes down around, like so, up into the corner of those eyelashes, right? And then his eyelid line kind of keeps going a bit further on top there. Iris, blue, semicircle half circle coming down from the top eyelid line there pupil is kind of small just in here in the middle like so and then tear duct just in there. And then he has like another sort of skin line coming out this way. Right, so bottom eyelid line, we got like dots and dashes for eyelashes coming along the bottom here. And then he has slight bags underneath his eyes, just there. His eyebrow, they're kind of pointy, right? So, kind of like starting real pointy that way and then they go up underneath his hat. There, right, so real pointy here. And then they just go like this way. And they get kind of wider as they go up there. Disappear under his hat somewhere here. So he's got this like fishing fishing hat. It looks like just to, that he wears Just there So his other eye right so you'll take the width of this eye That will fit in between both eyes, right? So you can fit an eye from here to here The next eye will start there. Okay, so this width Is the same as this is the same as this, right? So that's the next eye. So we'll just go over the top, down. And again, we have a, like an eyelid line coming out the front there. And the eyelashes sort of sticking out the back again. Like an eyelid line just coming over the top then. All right, and then the bottom eyelid line. So we got like the tear duct here. And then the bottom eyelid curves around up into the corner of his eye. Iris. Half circle. 
those around there. Now it's like this eye is like wider than the other one. Is that a thing with price? Tear duct in there. This eye looks like it's open wider than his other eye. Yeah. So the pupil. I think it's kind of like more. I think it's more visible or something. All right. It's difficult to get these computer generated characters. Try and even up his pupils, make them about the same size. Okay, so then bottom eyelash line just dashes going around and then the little eyelash is sticking off that. And then he's got sort of bags underneath his eye again. And then his eyebrow across from that one. Again, a hairy line that goes underneath his hat, his fishing hat. Gets wider as it goes up. Just these black textured eyebrows. Nice. Do 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 do. Okay. So we'll go down the face, get the features in. So his nose, so we've got like the inside of his nose kind of comes down this way. Bridge of his nose curves out. Down around here. Okay. And then you'll have a nostril this side. And then a nostril. here All right and then these are joined together by a sort of a bumpy tip of his nose and then his nostril kind of curves around on this side into the side of the nose there and then on this side curves around like so and you could have like the bridge of his nose there Roughly speaking like that and then you could have like some light lines for like the side of his nose There just as it joins his face you Darken up that nostril on this side for some reason we could see like more the nostril on this side than this side Maybe His head is turned a little bit Okay, so our dude Price has a massive beard. Okay, so it comes like it comes across his mouth, covers most of his mouth, but we can see like the center line for his lip, right? So his lip down in the middle, back up across, relatively flat, up the other side, right? That's like the side of his mouth. Okay, you could have a bit of a top lip, but it's mostly covered in hair. Right in his bottom lip, just here. Okay. So now that beard, right? So starts comes out from underneath his nose, right? So we've got like, and it's like 
it's not it's very big beard right so and it's like one of those old style ones that goes down around it's like a mustache and a beard at the same time so you're gonna go down like so and then the top of it will be coming across his mouth Right, and it'll go around his chin. So like, say, and come up to the, like, the bottom lip line as well here. So you'll have like hair all here too. Coming around in this sort of pattern that male facial hair has. Okay. Now his chin, so in general, eyes to nose, and nose to chin are about the same but because he's got like a beard right you got to go like further so his beard will be we'll put it here okay so like hairy chin so it's a bit longer so say like it's probably like eyebrows to the bottom of the nose is about the same as nose to bottom of the beard so like that space and that space are about the same and bottom of the nose to the bottom lip is about the same as bottom lip to chin and maybe like a little bit extra for the so like here, say nostril to the bottom lip line is about the same as bottom lip line to the chin line, okay? And he does have these like facial lines for his cheeks just coming down here as well. So his jaw, hairy. Comes up the side of his face. Gradually sort of curves up. See more of the jaw on this side. So this will go like all the way up beside his eye. It goes underneath his hat. Comes back down. So this is all sort of beard, facial hair. So this mustache as well, like joins his beard here. Let's see you're adding all this texture and stuff to it as well. Just showing the sort of direction the hair is growing. Okay. So that's like, that's basically his face, right? He could have like some wrinkles at the side of his eyes and stuff, because he's an older gent. So, military gear and hat, right? So his hat, fishing hat curves up, around, down, and just around his head here. Right, and then this side comes up around this way, and it's kind of like a loose fitting thing, right? So it can be bumpy, sort of, if you want. So it can have like textures on it and all that. All right. And then we can just see his ears coming down in underneath. Which way is his ear on that side? Just 
strange. That is. It's so weird. Why is it here like that? CGI is weird sometimes. Is this CGI? <laughs> right, ear lines just inside, like so. So then, that hat then, it's got the, a band that like comes around from behind the main section. Here. This goes down around this way. And this sort of hat stuff. Stitching all along the front and the cap of it. So it's got like it's got like a little lip sort of here. around the back all up there and then the top of it is all bumpy wavy kind of thing there's like a little front to it not like the most intimidating looking soldier I must say <laughs> But I'm sure if he's coming at you with a gun. And this has like all dots and stuff coming around like this. Texture lines. That should be wider, I'm not sure. Lines coming across this. sorts of waves and bumps and stuff all inside here. Okay, so he's got like basically a scarf like wrapped around his neck pretty high up right so it's coming around it's got like just coming around the front of his neck basically it's like all wrapped and tied around here they all sort of bumps and stuff coming around his neck and this is the tied section, so it's got like a tied part there. And then this goes back around the other, it's like tucked in underneath his neck. Around the other side up here. And then more sort of round sort of sections just going down that way. It's like one of those Afghan sort of things. And there's like a collar here and a collar in there. It's this green camouflage sort of a thing. Right, and then we have like a big strap with a wire. So the strap on this side, so it comes down that way. And then this has a big belt sort of section here. Goes around like stitching that way, and like a buckle or something there, and a buckle or something here, and then his shoulder again bumps down and just goes off the page that way. There's like another piece of fabric or something there, and on this side, so it's like his body's turned a little bit, so it won't be as wide, it'll go like down off here. So it's like up near his scarf, we have this other section. And then there's that wire. So wire here. Sort of a black cable, probably to do with his 
of communications and stuff. Right, uh, stitching, stitching going up the shoulder pad as well, and this wire will go down this way. And then like this buckle goes in underneath the scarf, stitching on that way, and then his shoulder like goes off the page off that way. Right, and then you can like just add textures, dirt to his face and stuff if you want. Textures to the hat. Give him some frowning sort of forehead lines here, I think. Just make him look a bit more intimidating. Right. I think that's the best I can do. Captain Price. I think this, that side of the hat should be a bit wider. Maybe I'll fix that. Hold up. Hold on. Okay, I think that's the best I can do. Price from Modern Warfare. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.